guys, Amber from The Vault here, back with another Fallout 4 mod. Now this one might be a player home, I'm pretty sure it's probably not a settlement mod, so we're going to go ahead and check it out though. It's called, and I'm going to say I'm probably going to get this wrong, Shezri's? Shizriz? I'm not sure how to say that. I'm so, so sorry about that uh, mod author. But we're going to go ahead and check out the Fenway apartment. Pretty excited about this one. Let me go ahead and show you some of the details here. Um, pretty excited about this one. It looks like a pretty cool apartment from these pictures. Let me show you some of these pictures. I am excited to get in here, excited to find out what's in here. It looks a little bit cheaty, so I'll let you guys know how cheaty it actually is once we get there. So this is what we're looking for once we actually get out into the Commonwealth. Of course, it's going to be, oh gosh, it's going to be fun. I wonder if we can build in here. I don't know a whole lot about it, but I'm pretty excited to go ahead and look at it. It sounds like there's uh, some backstory to this one, which I love. I love when people build you know, these player homes and then add backstory to them. That's exactly what I want. So we're going to go ahead and check this out. It's right outside Diamond City. I'm pretty excited about it, guys. I'll see you back in just a second. All right, guys. I think this is the door we're supposed to go in, but uh, I'm not entirely sure. It says it's right outside uh, Diamond City, right next to the Fenway Apartments, but the Fenway Apartments is also that building, and I know you can uh, actually get in there or get on it or something like that. So I think that this is the door, but this might actually just go to the Fenway Apartments, so I'm not entirely sure. So we're going to go ahead and see uh, if it actually takes us to the player home or if it takes us into the apartments themselves. All right, guys, here we go. I think this is the right place. Let's go ahead and check it out. Ah, looks like it. All right, let's do the quick walkthrough. Oh my gosh, look at this place. Look at this. This is beautiful. This is amazing. Can I actually pick this stuff up? No. Oh, dang it. I was really hoping I could. Oh, man. Look how nice this is. Oh, McCready's already sitting in here. Look at that. Oh, man, this is a really nice little apartment. I love this. Oh, there's a terminal in here. I wonder if it works. It does. Okay, let's. We'll go there in just a second. I'll warn you if I if I click it, I might not be able to read it properly. Uh, part of having be small installed, guys. I, I I can't help it. I like being small so much. Okay, let's go ahead and try it. Let's see if we can use a computer. Finally making progress. Ah, oh, shit! I can't read it. All right, I'll tell you what. Here's the deal. We're not gonna read them. <laughs> We're not going to read them because I have B-Small installed. But we're also not going to read them. Uh, you should not drink while you're on the toilet, McCready. He gave me, did you see the side eye he's given me? It's a little uncomfortable that I came in on him in the bathroom drinking. Huh. Well, that's okay. It gives you guys something to look at if you end up downloading the mod. So, oh, wait, what's this over here? Oh, shit. Wow, I wish we could pick all that stuff up. I can't lie. Especially that blue dress. I love those denim dresses. So I'll do one of those uh, little slow... Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. When you sit on the toilet, the seat goes up. I don't know why I like that so much. All right, sorry about that. I'll do one of those real slow tours through. We'll go ahead and check it out, guys. Uh, I can tell you right now, I'm probably going to tell you to download it. All right, let's go ahead and start at, the st start at the beginning, and I'll do the slow walkthrough where I shut up.
Alright guys, so that's it. That's going to be the end of this mod review as far as a download or don't. Guys, again, I'm going to give you the normal one. If you like player homes, if you like the way this one looks, which I sure as heck do, go ahead and download it. I'm going to say it's definitely a download. It's not cheaty, which I love. I love when they're not cheaty. It doesn't give you a ton of cram. It just gives you a little shelf where you can put your cram, which I actually think is really cool. It gives you a little pantry space, that type of stuff. So definitely one of those mods that I would say if you enjoy a player home, if this is kind of your jam like it is mine, I would say download it. I think if nothing else, you'd like to just, you know, look around it, kind of get a kick out of looking around it, get some ideas for possible settlements you could do on your own. Of course, there's a lot of this stuff we won't be able to do in game, at least if you're on PS4, which I am, so I, that's why I always do these uh, with a PS4 in mind. But definitely, guys, I say download it. I think that this is a really, really interesting mod. I love this one. It's visually stunning, if you ask me. It's a cool little house. You can play a little bit of play a little bit of house in it. I like that. So definitely going to give it a download, it, guys. Really appreciate you guys being here. I can't tell you enough how much it means to me, guys. It means so much that you guys hang out with me and watch play these videos. Right, oh my gosh! Quiet, money. Mac. I'm trying to do an outro here. I just realized that these are hidden in here oh my gosh that's adorable um anyway thank you so much guys i really do appreciate it i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here but if you like this video please remember to like comment and subscribe it means the world to me it lets other people know that the videos exist and guys huge huge motivation to keep moving forward so thank you so much for that if you would like to, to subscribe to the channel and you haven't already, you can go ahead and click on that big dumb picture of my face that'll appear on your screen in just a second. Also, there should be a link to another video that YouTube thinks you'd like, as well as a link to all of my Fallout 4 videos and reviews. So thank you so much, guys. I will see you in the next one.